Hi everybody, Richard Michael Owen here at RM Sotheby's in Monterey and we're looking at the Prana. It's a one-off show car made by Bertone, styling by Marcel Gandini and it is a real jewel. No other E-Type looks like this, it's totally wild. And I think Bertone was kind of trying to impress Jaguar at the time. They were looking for a styling update and experimenting with different shapes and if Bertone got the contract for Jaguar it would mean a lot of money for them so they were really interested in making this car be the best and show new styling direction for the E-Type there's a lot of lines here like you look at the C-pillar has that big swooping curve that was a became a big thing in the 70s and this car kind of pioneered that and it lent over to other cars like the Lamborghini Espada so many unique English Italian details here like look at the badge You got the huge leaper here in the grill. And the dual headlight treatment, which really was used on the Espada later. Love the little detail hiding in there. Look at the wheels here. Kind of got the D-type inspired Dunlops with big knockoffs. On Dunlop sport tires too. Just move back and get a profile of this Incredible, incredible one of. Arm Sotheby said that this sold for 20,000 pounds when new, and you'd get three Ferraris for that price. Three Ferrari 275. So this was a very, very expensive build. Here you can see the Prana logo, custom. Just go around to the rear. It's kind of tight here, but you can still get an idea of what's going on. Look at the tail lights. Look at that. Kind of got some acrylic going on here. It's crazed a little bit, but it's still original. You got a big, like, window into the rear, kind of like an Alfa Romeo Montreal. Big uh, piece of glass here on the rear that I think opens up to get access. Interesting vent. Yeah, really unusual lines on this. And my friend Jason here is going to open the door. We can have a look at what's going on inside. Thanks, man. That's cool. That's what I'm here for. So we've kind of got a two-tone brown interior. Lots of leather. Custom seats. Yeah, this is a really, really cool dashboard. Got the Series 2 clock there. The Bertone badge. And the console is uh, yeah, rather busy. I see lots of Series 1 E-type stuff going on, combined with some Italian switch gear. Got that big Jaguar knob, though. I think this has air conditioning. Yeah, I think this car has air conditioning. That's why there is so many knobs. See the steering wheel there? Kind of a departure from the usual E-type steering wheel. Like they even got a really cool um, headliner here and kind of styled it. Real attention to detail, that's what probably made this car so expensive. And a huge partial area, just like the partial shelf area, sorry, just like the E-Type. This console is pretty cool though. Just the shape of it. You can see the controls for the electric windows. I don't even know what this is. What is that? Is that a tape player or something? Wow. Yeah, really neat car. Piranha by Bertone. Yeah, I just opened the huge clamshell of the Piranha here. Have a look at what's hiding the engine bay. Definitely looks like a Series 1 4.2 triple carbed engine with air conditioning. Holy, look at this air conditioning system going on here. Wow, way different from the E-Type right there. Reservoirs are a little different. So is the heater system. Look at the way that's positioned in there. Very interesting. Got the washer bottle and brake reservoir hiding in there. It's looking more normal over to the carburetor side. I'll just sneak around here. There you go. Yeah, definitely a 4.2 intake manifold. You can see the original picture frame and the stamping on the picture frame. 
Yeah, I guess this has air conditioning. Look at the shrouding on the radiator. That's really interesting. Series 1 radiator. Here's the chassis tag. It's an original Jaguar chassis tag. But yeah, familiar layout, but a lot of little detailed differences, little relays and stuff in different spots for the air conditioning system. Yeah, look at this clamshell inside. Isn't that amazing? Very Italian with the, with the pleated padding in there. You just wouldn't know it's a Jag amazing. just by looking at that. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely very Italian. So cool, so cool. So awesome. Okay, we'll put it down gently. Be very careful with it. Yeah, the latch here is on the passenger side. Wow, look at that. Shuts really nice. Look at the lines on that. That must have taken a long time to get right. Beautiful. All right, how cool is that? What a neat car to pour in and out of the details. Really love this thing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.